Where are we? Well, we're in front of a coffee place, but it's not open yet. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, bad day. What is up, guys? Good morning. We're in Ecuador. We're in Ecuador. Why not? Because I have this for my country project. In what grade? Fourth. Fourth grade. And everyone got Equ like really cool countries that you knew all about, and no one knew anything about Ecuador. She got Ecuador. And my, even my dad was like, "Where is that?" Well, we're here now. And I did a great job <laughs> on that project, and I learned a lot, and I thought it was really cool. Well, now we're in Ecuador. And I always wanted to go, so we're freaking here, and it's cold. It's freezing. We're at, we're at like nine thousand feet elevation. It's cold, it's and we're about to go climb Cotopaxi, which is eighteen thousand feet. Day one, starting right. off the adventure right. So we arrived super late last night. Really vlogged much because we were just trying to figure out the city. It was kind of crazy. We got in at nine because our flight was three hours late. We got here at like 11 because it was a 45 minute drive after everything. It was crazy. I hate arriving to places super late because you have no grounding of where you're at. The maps was taking us through this crazy, the maps kept trying to take us through these crazy neighborhoods. It looked really sketchy, but you know, it is what it is. We're here, we made it. And now we're gonna go hike and bike. It's all volcano around here. Our adventure to climb Cotopaxi with Equitraveling begins here in Quito. Quito is Ecuador's capital, sitting at 2,850 meters or 9,350 feet of elevation. This city is right in the middle of what's called the Avenue of the Volcanoes. Cotopaxi is one of those volcanoes, and it's still active. As our tour bus drove up the steep walls of the valley, we got a picturesque view of the entire city below. We've never seen any place quite like this. From the ridge, we started our journey to the volcano, and as we turned the corner, we got our first sneak peak of Cotopaxi in the distance. All right, so our first stop is a house on the way to Cotopaxi. We're getting breakfast and we're also getting some coca tea. If you don't know what coca tea is, it helps with altitude, uh, but it's not something you can get in a lot of places. You get it down here in South America, especially like here, Peru. It's made from coca leaves. But, uh, alpaca. Need I say more? Alpaca. After getting energized with some delicious coca tea, we got on the road and continued the journey. Eventually, the trees disappeared, and what we were left with was a barren landscape that is dominated by Cotopaxi. We just got to 13,000 feet. We're still driving up higher. From here, we're gonna hike about an hour to a refuge and then hike back and bike all the way back down to where we started. So mountain biking, hiking, doing all that good stuff. It is getting cold and the altitude is getting up there. I'm appreciating it, right? Woo! Are you Woo! serious? <laughs> yeah. We just got to our stopping point with the bus. We're at like 15,000 feet and we're climbing all the way up there to the refuge. You can actually see it in the distance, but it's a lot further than you think it is. You can feel the altitude as soon as you get up here. It's, and it's crazy windy. So I've got three layers on. I've got my parka, two base layers, and it's still cold. We left the tour bus in the parking lot at 15,000 feet. Just as a comparison, the highest mountain in the continental US is 14,500 feet, and we're starting our hike 500 feet above that. You can imagine how hard it is to move at this altitude, especially with the wind and cold beating down on you. Our guide split us off from the main trail, and we took an alternate route to the refuge. It was longer, but definitely worth it. As we climbed, Cotopaxi's icy face emerged from the clouds. got to the highest point that we're gonna climb. We're at the refuge right here. Woo! Woohoo! We made it this far. We just got out of the wind, so that's... Woo! <sighs> How do you feel, Rach? Awesome, let's do another one. Let's keep uh, going. That's crazy. Can we ice climb now? So when, have to pee. So when you're hiking at altitudes like this, each step feels like you're carrying a 10 pound brick on your feet. It's because you have very little oxygen, so... It's tough. And if you like aren't recirculating your oxygen and bringing more oxygen in, you start to get dizzy, you start to get headaches. And then on top of it, it's cold. This is a cool place to see. And we're standing at the base of one of Ecuador's largest volcanoes. Hopefully in the next year, I'll be climbing that with my buddy Carlos. You made it to the top. Yes. 
Now it's time for some hot chocolate and cocoa tea. The Cotopaxi Refuge sits at 15,700 feet, just below the snow and ice line. Here at the refuge, climbers will stay the night before their journey to the peak. The climb to the summit will take about six hours, and the climbers will finish at an astounding 19,347 feet. It's a really high climb. Our hike to the refuge took us about an hour from the parking lot, and here we get a chance to sit down, relax, and enjoy the views before making our way back down. The next thing we're doing is jumping on mountain bikes. That's the whole valley that we drove up. Behind me is the refuge where people sleep up there before they make the trek up to Cotopaxi. Now we're gonna start making the trek back down, go do some uh, mountain biking. Definitely feeling the altitude up here, but found a nice little calm spot away from the wind. Super cool to be up here, be at this altitude and you know, be able to hike up here. So, you just climbed a peak taller than any peak I've ever climbed. One of the coolest things we've ever done, for <laughs> sure. So are you going to climb a mountain with me and maybe in ice I'm and snow? I'm still thinking about the hot chocolate. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe actually. Maybe? Put on some crampons? Yeah. Get in the ice and snow? It's just like this, right? It's just like this, but you have ice and snow. So, there's not as much dust because you're in snow. That's helpful. Well, actually, I hate the cold. No, I won't do it. So they're telling us one out of seven days the mountain comes out like this. And it is pretty. So it's a rare treat that we got to see it like this. It's a volcano. Yeah, it's a volcano. So for the last 15 months, it's been closed for climbing because of the activity on the mountain. But they're saying that come August, so worth it. they might uh, they might open it back up. So hopefully, by the time I want to come back and climb, it's back open. Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Dog. All right, the second part of this tour is riding bikes down this really sketchy road. <laughs> We're biking. We're biking. The quicker we get down, the quicker you can pay. All right, I gotta put the camera down because it is uh, time to get on the bikes and start riding. This is like ridiculously cold and it's raining now. Oh man, talk about a change in weather. After a long, cold, and extremely fun descent into the valley, we ended the tour for the day. From here, we jumped back on the tour bus and enjoyed our lunch with some llamas and alpacas before heading back to Quito. All right, we just got dropped off here in Quito. How was the adventure today? Amazing. It was amazing. It was a really cool adventure. We're exhausted I though. I a weird beer. We just stopped off in like the hostel area of Quito and uh, had a beer chilled. It seems like a cool area to come check out later. Everything's closed. It looks like it's Sunday. major nightlife. It's also Sunday, so there might be a lot of things closed because it's Sunday, but we're, we're exhausted. It was a long day. It was a lot of altitude and a lot of everything. Now we're here. It's somewhat daylight. We're going to walk back to our hotel. But guys, that is it for the vlog, so we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be doing a bunch of exploring. I don't know what we're doing. We're the hiking or we're going to go do some city exploring. We're going to just go relaxed right now but guys subscribe and we will see you on the next one